Hey everyone, 16 by 20 bottle bottom pour. Um, I've been doing a lot of these off camera and posting them on my Facebook page. So I thought I would do one with you tonight, today, whatever time it is for you. <laughs> it's nighttime for me and I have a storm coming in, so you may hear some rumbling in the background. But we're just going to put a bunch of color down and we are not going to try to define the flower itself. Um, we're doing abstract. So don't freak out when I start losing half the flower off the edge. <laughs> so I think I'm going to start with um, not quite a rainbow effect, but um, similar to our Hawaiian flower that we did. Um, but I did want to keep that one um, a flower, so I'll do azo red instead. Um, I think, ooh, I'm dropping everything, and I need a yellow. Okay, so the last one I did, um, was a lot of blue in between. So I think what I want to do this time is, is start with black just to outline the edge because the blues kind of ran together and then it was just like way too much blue. So I am going to use a couple of different blues um, and I think I'm going to throw a mauve in there too because it's very dark. And I think that's it. And all my paint has silicone. So I'm not doing this with um, no silicone. I could, but the color selection would not be as great. So I'm going to go ahead and just start pouring. All my paints are mixed with Elmer's Glue All and Floetrol. I do not use water unless I absolutely have to thin it down, but I try not to use any water. The only color that I normally would put water in would be black. Um, I don't even do it in the white. Black is just super, super thick. It's just a little contrast to that darker blue because that blue will dry much darker. And I don't care if this runs off. try to go two rounds because we're going to pour a lot of paint off anyway. I just think it looks better when you do two rounds. start over. I am going to put one little shot of white in there though. And you want to be careful you don't drip. Just wait till it goes ahead and drips off your edge. Because it will stick out like a sore thumb. break it up. This one's already heading for the edge and that's fine. I 
And we're going to skip the black this time. Mm, nah, maybe not. We better use it. I did put some base white down so it had something to flow on so the colors won't fold over. I'm going to stick my finger under there to keep it on the canvas. Don't know if it'll work. We'll try. This one I gotta watch. It'll drip. <laughs> okay, and yellow. And we'll probably end <clears throat> with just a tiny shot of white. for a second until all the paint runs down and then we'll take them off Sometimes I just like to paint and not film. Um, I can take my time and I don't feel any um, urgency to hurry. Okay. So we're going to have fun tilting this one because there is a lot of paint on here. Once they touch, then I want to go back the other way. Do you hear that thunder? That's crazy loud. My garage is insulated. Oh my goodness. Angels are playing. They're bowling for sure. <laughs> That's what my parents used to tell us when we were kids. Angels are bowling. Don't be afraid. That's so sweet. Okay, I'm going to head down to that corner. Try not 
to lose too much. Now this one here is going to get stretched out quite a bit because I didn't have, I could have done four, but you don't want to be all patterny when you're doing abstract art. You don't want it to look intended, that's what I'm trying to say I guess. And remember, these don't have to be flowers. It's just a design. And I'm sorry, you can't see. I'll pull you that way. Okay, so now I'm going to move it all the way back. Let's see if I can get some of this lined up. And for all of you yelling, stop, stop. <laughs> when you do yours, you can stop. Okay. So, there's a lot of cells going on. I have a corner here I need to cover. So I have one flower here that wasn't totally obliterated. Um, I don't know if I want to move it anymore. Because I can keep that. Let me torch it and see what happens. We didn't layer the colors as much as you would, like putting it in the cup, so we may not get very many cells. <clears throat> but we did go over the white, so we might get a couple. But the white did not have silicone in it, so. But I'm popping air bubbles as well. So if you follow me on Facebook, you saw the three I did on, I believe it was a 10 by 30 inch canvas. So let me grab that and you can see what it looks like. It's pretty. This is a repurposed canvas from Goodwill. Oops. It would help if I had my mic on, wouldn't it? I bought this um, picture. It was Spoons and Forks picture at Goodwill, and I brought it home and gessoed it. Um, has a nice back. Taped it off. And did three bottle pours on there, bottle bottom pours, and didn't move it very much. Now, I did another one um, that I did, it's shorter, so it kind of looks 
um, patterny where that one does not so um, that video you probably already saw it because it'll be up after this or before this but it's possible to do them on the long boards just make sure you have enough bottle bottoms so that the paints are going to at least when you turn it that they're going to touch because if you don't you're going to have your gaps of color um, this is going to change a lot in the next hour and we're really selling up on the corners from the white but it's crazy funky I like it it's abstract and I'm sure that someone will say dibs <laughs> so if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and click below click on the little bell next to the subscribe button and you'll be notified when I upload my next video click like and share leave a comment if you want join me on Facebook at Christina Welch art shop with me on Etsy um, if it's still before June 1st use that code birthday and you'll get 25% off your jewelry or art um, purchase and shop with me on Amazon where you can get all your painting supplies and all the links are below and check them out guys um, I also have a PayPal link there if you'd like to sponsor my channel I'm going to be doing quarterly drawings for my sponsors and they can win some really beautiful stuff so if you want to help me out be more than happy to just click below and I will see you all on the next one. Bye now.